Sometimes I don't feel alright. New girl on my face, she says she needs a bite. That's why I don't feel alright. Catch me in the good mood. Alright, what is going on YouTube? It is Brandon Palmer with Balance Performance Golf and Fitness. We are back with another video during this quarantine home workout golf fitness edition. Alright, so in this one, it's going to be working out like John Rahm, the long bombing tour player. Uh, I recently came across some of his exercises that he has done uh, with my TPI on Instagram. So, we're going to be going through those four movements today. Uh, I didn't see what names they were, so we're going to be kind of making those up as we go uh, as they pertain to which body part they work and activate. So this is going to be a crazy overall body, ab activation, full range of motion type deal. So let's hop right into it with the first movement. Alright, so for the first movement, I'm going to call it lying cross body extensions. So in a minute, you're going to see why. All you're going to need is a club. I'm going to go ahead and lay down. We're going to be putting the club in our right hand into our left foot, keeping a great amount of pressure there. Now we're going to have our right foot up as well, both feet up at 90. Tons of pressure from this right hand into my left foot. What we're going to do, both at 90, extend that right leg in the, in the left arm, bring it back. Keep that tension the whole time. You're going to feel the abs and the core activate like crazy. Again. Inhale, exhale, keep a lot of pressure from that hand, get a full range of motion, extend as much as you can, keeping that foot at 90, go ahead and do five, we're going to switch sides. All right, so you're gonna go through that five repetitions on each side. I'm gonna repeat that three times through. Now let's head into the second movement. All right, so this second movement is gonna be a single leg Romanian deadlift. All you're gonna to need to do, club in our right hand, butt of the club on our foot. Just like this, we're gonna lead with the hips. A lot of tension, just like before. Lead back, just like that. Try and get to parallel, come back. You have your hand out for balance if you want. All the way back. Two. Three. And if there's not a lot of pressure on that club in the foot, the club's gonna fall. We might lose our balance. So we're gonna activate the entire core the entire time. Left hand out. All right. Pressure here. Lead with the hips. Go back. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. We've done our five. And just before we do that, I want to explain what this movement is doing. So it's really allowing us to be aware of the utilization of ground up forces. Just like we need a lot of club face awareness, we need a lot of body awareness in the golf swing as well. And the best way to keep our balance throughout this movement is to look at a specific target, whether it's on the ground, in front of us, just keeping a neutral spine and really focusing on the movement, doing it nice and slow and focusing on our breathing as well. So let's go ahead and do the left side. Focus on something right in front of me. Got my right arm out for balance. Lead with the hips. Got a lot of tension between that hand and that club, pushing that leg back. Exhale when you go out. When you lose your balance, just put your foot down and restart. All right, and there we have it for movement two. All right, so on to movement number three. This is gonna be a half kneeling hip pulse. What this is gonna do, it's gonna really open up our hip flexor and gain aware, awareness of our posterior chain. So what we're gonna do, go ahead and kneel down, left leg up, club 90 degrees. We go ahead and set our hips back towards our foot, drive forward, it's gonna be really opening up our hip flexor, we're going to be engaging our core this entire time. Go ahead and do five repetitions. 
inhale, and we go back, exhale, and flex our core all the way through. We're gonna feel it down into our quad, all the way through our hip flexor. Go ahead and do five, ready? Switch side. So when I'm doing this movement, I'm going to want to make sure that our core is engaged the entire time and that we're not arching or slouching our back on either way of the movement. Go ahead, extend the arms, set back, stand up, make sure our back is nice and straight, nice and square, and our core is engaged the entire time as well as we're pushing down, force down through this club. Go ahead and set back. Then through, hold it for about one to two seconds. Again. Five. All right, so for the fourth and final movement of Mr. John Rahm's full body activation and stabilization routine, we're gonna be doing a double-legged hip hinge. So all we're gonna do, throw the club behind our body. Grip it like so, right behind it, there Keep our elbows nice and wide. We don't need to flare them in. Elbows nice and wide. And all we're gonna do is hinge from the hips, trying to maintain this club, touching our body, as much of our body as we can. So when done properly, we'll see that our shins are gonna stay at 90, and all we're gonna do is hinge from the hips back as far as we can until the butt of the club comes off my lower back. So when that happens, you're just gonna reset, try it again. Hinge from the hips, you can see I'm not going forward, I'm not extending back, falling on my heels. Stay nice and bound, like we're in our golf posture. All we're going to do is hang back. You're going to feel great tension um, through our quads and even through our hamstrings if you haven't been working on your flexibility. Go ahead, do five repetitions, then switch hands. Keep that club on our body, elbows wide, hinge from the hips. One. Come on, two, we're going to explode forward once we hinge back nice and slow, club comes up, go ahead and switch hands, Alright, so that is going to be it for John Rahm's workout routine with the golf club. Go ahead and give this one a shot right at home. If you liked the video and it helped you, please give it a like. Um, and if you'd like to find out some more information, go to balance underscore performance on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright guys, thanks for watching.